In this video, we're going to learn about ClickHouse's regular expression tree dictionary. Regular expression tree dictionaries are a type of dictionary that represent the mapping from key to attributes using a tree of regular expressions. They work well for use cases like parsing user agent strings and are defined by YAML files containing the regular expression tree. So this is an example of such a YAML file. You can see at the top, we've got a regular expression for one operating system. And if it matches that regular expression, we're going to, it's going to be Tencent OS. And then the version is going to be the regular expression group one. The second one's a little bit more complicated. So the name is always going to be Android. It's then got multiple versions defined. So if it matches any of those regexes, it's going to use, for example, version 13, version 12, or version 11. If it doesn't match any of them, it's going to go back up and match the regular expression group one. Let's have a look at, in ClickHouse at how we can use this. So we can create ourselves a dictionary. We'll pass in the regular expression. We're going to pull out the name and the version. We're going to give it a primary key of regex p. So that's going to be the incoming data. The source is going to be YAML regex p tree, giving it the path to the YAML file. And then the layout is going to be regex p underscore tree. We can then call dict get, give the name of the dictionary, say what fields we want to get out. So name and version, and then give it the regular expression. And you can see it comes out Android and 12. If we change the version to 32 at the beginning, still Android 12. How about if we change it to one that doesn't match on any of those subversions? So we'll do 88. And you can see this time it matches just 88. And if we try and match something that doesn't exist, so 88 blah, it gives nothing for the name or the version. Now we can export the dictionary out into a CSV file and import it like that if we want. So we'll export this out to regex CSV. Let's have a look at that CSV file. So you can see we've got an ID, a parent ID, the regex, the keys and the values. Notice that the parent ID of the first two is zero and then it's two for the next four. If we're going to ingest it from a CSV file, we need to first create ourselves a table that matches the CSV structure. So we'll have ID, parent ID, regex P, keys, values, and then we're going to just put it in memory. And we can then run this query to populate that in memory table from the CSV file. Once we've done that, we can create ourselves another dictionary. So again, it's going to have the same structure. So regex P, name, version, primary key is the same, but the source this time is a ClickHouse table, regex P, and then the layout and lifetime are the same as before. We can then write a query that does dict get against the first dictionary for a particular regular expression, and then also against the second dictionary for that same regular expression. And you can see we get back the same answer. Also, ClickHouse comes with some kind of pre-built CSV files for doing this type of thing. So we're going to have a look at one of these now. So this is for operating systems that we're trying to pull out of a user agent string. So let's create ourselves a table first. We'll then insert the data into there. So this is stored on a ClickHouse S3 bucket. And then we're going to create ourselves a dictionary. So it takes in a regex. It's going to give us back OS replacement, OS v1 replacement, OS v2 replacement, v3, v4, and so on. And you can see it's going to read that from the regex p underscore OS table. We can check how many records are in that table. So it's 179 different regular expressions. And then we could say, OK, I'm going to have this quite complicated user agent. and I'm going to ask it to pull me out the OS. And you can see it gets me Mac OS 10, 15, 0. This is just one of the types of dictionary supported by ClickHouse. Check out these videos up here to learn about the IP tree and polygon dictionaries.